Today, I want to show you how to create a top-down stick that can rotate your character and also shoot. Start by going into Project Settings and Input. I recommend creating your own touch interface by browsing to the Engine Mobile Input, duplicating it and moving it into your Content Browser. To enable input, make sure to search for Touch and enable both of these settings. Now, by default, your right joystick should already have the right input, but if it doesn't, set it to be the gamepad right thumbstick x-axis and y-axis below. Open up your character's event graph. I will be using the input directly, which is also the Unreal Engine 4 input system. However, you could do this using the Unreal Engine 5's input system. Add the gamepad right thumbstick X and Y axis inputs. From the axis value, drag out a make vector node and connect the X and Y appropriately. This step is optional, but normalize the vector. If you don't normalize, the stick's position can influence the movement speed or rotation strength, which can lead to inconsistent behavior. Next, we will be using the find look at rotation. Get actor location and connect it to the start. Then multiply the normalize node. The value you put in here won't matter, so I will set it to 100. This step is just done so that we can make the character face towards the stick direction. Then add it with your actor location and set it to be the end. Split the rotation output. Drag out a set actor rotation node and set the values like me since we only need the z-value of our created function. So since the gamepad stick can only bring us a value of minus 1 or 1, we need to convert this into a vector so that the character can rotate based on the vector that the stick returns. Now if we play, it will work to some extent, but we have two issues. The first is that the character is not rotating to the right direction. We can fix that by adding 90 to the z-value. Which brings us to our second issue. The rotation is working now, but since the gamepad events are ticks, they run every frame, even when we don't press on the joystick. This causes our character's rotation to be set to a certain angle. To fix this, we just need to check whether the stick is being pressed or not. Add a branch and check whether the value is greater or equal than 0.1, or less than equal to minus To add shooting, add a sequence to the code, followed by a do once node. Then create your shooting event. I already have one, but all you really need to do is to spawn a bullet and an emitter if you want. Call the event and use a delay to choose how fast your gun can fire. Add a branch and check whether our gun is firing. Set firing to be true when moving the stick and false when not. Since I am also using an emitter, I have to stop it when the shooting is done. Connect the false to reset the do once node. Now we're almost done, but there is an issue when we drag the stick on the y axis. The emitter won't show. I don't know exactly why this happens. Remove the false from the x axis, but keep it on the y axis.
You can also adjust the scale and input values to make the stick more fluid.